what is going on everybody this is the time played and i have a hot juicy curvy topic for all of you guys now george fucking zimmerman all right this mid-30s guy half white half mexican you know he's a uh, not guilty yesterday he pleaded he the verdict was not guilty for him now he pleaded against Trayvon Martin a 17 year old African American guy now he said in his defense he was attacked by this Trayvon unarmed guy and uh, he he acted in his own defense and he shot Trayvon Martin with a shotgun seven times in the head you know when you were 17 years old what were you doing probably fucking some bitches right so Trayvon Martin was minding his own business walking to some bitches house gonna go have sex with her and bumps into Zimmerman on accident says I'm sorry kisses his shoes Zimmerman shoots him in the head seven times with a shotgun no, I'm just kidding. None of that stuff's real. You know, I have 10 stitches in my leg. Um, I don't know the whole story with that. I didn't even know who Zimmerman was when I woke up this morning. I look on my Facebook feed and I see Zimmerman, Zimmerman, Zimmerman all over the shit. And I'm just like, who the fuck? What the fuck happened? This Google fight. this shit. And that's what I see. So I did some research on it. And, you know, this did happen in Florida. And in Florida... Uh, you you law majors, excuse me if I'm wrong, but Florida is one of the states that uh, if you are being threatened, if you feel like your life is in danger, you can act upon it and shoot down or or annihilate whatever is that threat. You know, like uh, same thing here, same thing with Zimmerman and uh, Martin. He shot down Martin in his own defense. Now, that is not illegal to do. You cannot, it's not something you can't do. He felt like his life was in danger. Now, I don't know how this is a 17 year old um, African American guy who I guess attacked Zimmerman, is what I've read. I don't know the whole story, but um, from, what I've, from what I've been reading, and you know, the internet don't lie. So, uh, so that's all I've been reading. Um, this this was taking place in the Florida courtroom. Now the jury, jury was all women. Now I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad thing. Now, you females, being the female that you are, you guys are very emotional. At least most of you are. So I don't know. I mean, there's there's a whole bunch of other factors that could lead up to George Zimmerman being not guilty. But I mean, it's it's a matter of what. It's like uh, a scenario that my professor had told me, my civics and economics professor. And this happened in Florida too. This actually did happen. I don't know exactly where. I don't remember exactly where. But this did happen. Uh, think of a uh, two cars, common car, common color, the same color. Friendly hunter killer drone. Two African Americans go to Walmart and. Uh, one of them goes inside, the other one goes and parks the car. When the other African American comes out of Walmart, he sees his car, the same color, same everything. He goes up to it, he knocks on the passenger window. Hey, let me in, let me in. And it's this this 75 year old lady, white lady in there. She sees this 23 year old African American knocking on her window, what is she gonna think? What do you want from me? You wanna steal my car or what, you know? She pulls out her gun, shoots, shoots him down in, in pure daylight, you know, this is noon, this is 12 o'clock during the day. Shoots him down, says, oh, he was knocking on my car roughly and wanted to come in my car and wanted to take my car, you know. Now that guy's dead, he cannot say what he wanted to say, he's gone. His friend over there with the same exact car, you know, that lady didn't go to jail. Even though it probably would have done her some good, she was probably going to a home anyways. 
but she did not go to jail because she pleaded in her defense. She uh she thought her life was in danger and she was threatened. So she killed him. Now this is only in some states, I believe. Now for all of you who do not know about the United States, um some of the states have different different laws. And Florida is one of those states where if you feel threatened, you can go and kill your threat. And I think that is what's going on here, but the media makes this the media makes this weird. The media does things and makes things weird. 9-11. 9-11 was planned. President Bush bombed 9-11. He controlled the remote that flew into 9-11. Oh, I'm sorry. President Bush. It's not President Bush's fault. Cartman blamed Kyle for 9-11. Kyle did 9-11. Um, LeBron James is in this. You know, he's posting tweets. He's posting on Facebook. He's putting flipping off pictures on Instagram. Roseanne Barr is in this. I don't even know who she is, but she's in this. Uh, Spike Lee. He's also in this, you know. I mean, being the parents of Trayvon Martin, uh, I don't know the kind of kid Trayvon is, but I mean, if you're 35 and this kid's 17, this kid had no weapon. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that will work out. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Put guilty or not guilty. We already know what happened. We already know what's going on. But what do you guys think? Your own personal opinion, kind of like me. Put your own just in the comment section below. Guilty or not guilty. Thumbs this video up if you're a boss.